Watch this video if you want to learn how you should actually feel in a great relationship. For the best relationship advice and a lot of fun tips for couples, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to be notified every time I upload a video. My name is Dana and I own a platform called Better Topics, where we regularly help hundreds of couples experience more love, joy and connection. But what is a great relationship? And what makes a great relationship? Well, the answer to this question has actually changed over the years quite a lot. If I would ask my grandmother what is a great relationship in her opinion, she would most likely say a long-lasting marriage with partners that respect each other, raise few kids, where the woman is usually a housewife and the man usually is the main breadwinner. However, as times have progressed and we have modernized and most women tend to earn their own income and be more independent, the dynamic of relationships have shifted quite a lot. And the things we are looking for in a relationship are not fulfilling the basic human needs for survival and shelter and food as it used to be once upon a time, but it has become more about fulfilling some emotional needs. And today I'm going to talk about some of the main ones. The first need that we tend to fulfill in a relationship is the need to be happy and fulfilled. Now, if you're happy most of the time and fulfilled in your relationship, you probably are in a great one. Happiness, unlike fulfillment, is a fleeting feeling and it is virtually impossible to be happy all the time, unless you're on something. But fulfillment, it is a more lasting feeling where you feel a sort of internal peace and overall joy that you're in a relationship with a specific person. Another need that we want to fulfill in our relationships is the need of security. Now, if in olden times it was about survival and shelter security and, and financial security, these days this security refers to something else. Although this also roots to our ancestors' needs of survival, we still want to know that our partner is committed to our relationship and that we are too. This also refers to the fact that both partners in a relationship refrain from flirting with people from outside of the relationship. And this also involves a lot of trust on both sides. Another need that we want to fulfill in a great relationship is the need of appreciation especially of being appreciated and our opinions heard. And this refers to how much you are appreciated in your own relationship by your partner and how much you actually appreciate your partner as well. And also, do you know how your partner likes to be appreciated and how is it that you like to be appreciated too? Once you figure this out, don't forget to communicate this with your partner. Another need that we want to fulfill in our relationships these days is the need of excitement. And this actually has two parts to it. How excited are you to still see your partner after a long day's work? And are you still doing exciting things together? New adventures and new things that can bring you closer together and also share great memories. And the last important need that we are trying to fulfill in a great relationship is the need of independence. I know it might sound a bit counterintuitive that I'm talking about independence whilst being in a relationship. However, although we are in a relationship, we are still different individuals from our partner and we might still have different interests than they have. And that is okay. A healthy relationship should give us enough space to be also independent whilst in a relationship. I mean, if you're in a relationship, that doesn't mean you have to give up everything you were doing before that, all your hobbies, all your friends and everything else that was going on in your life before being in this relationship. A truly great relationship allows you to be in a relationship with a great person, have a lot of fun and everything else that goes in a great relationship. And in the same time, still have some time for you, for your own interests, for your own friends and so on. Therefore, if you're happy most of the time and fulfilled in your relationship, you feel secure in your relationship and you trust your partner, also your partner trusts you. If there is a lot of appreciation back and forth as well, if you appreciate your partner as well as are appreciated by your partner, if there is enough excitement and you can still keep your independence, 
it means you have the main ingredients that make up a great relationship and like any other recipe once you have the main ingredients you can add a bit of let's say spice to it depending on your own taste what i mean by that is at the end of the day each relationship is quite different and unique and this is why it is up to the two partners to discuss and tailor the things they do depending on what they want in a relationship what they want to experience and what they like and this is where the spices come in let me know what you think about these in the comments below if you like this video make sure to hit the like button subscribe and share it with your friends